Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the distribution function. Today we will see how we can define the mean and variance of the beta distribution of the first kind. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. You can contact me, either of my email IDs are there if you feel any doubt or else you can simply follow this link for, for finding the more updated videos on probability and statistics. So as all of you know that the beta distribution of the first kind, the probability density function is defined by here. That is 1 upon beta of mn x raised to power m minus 1 and so on. So here the two unknown parameters are there. One is the m and second is the n. Now in order to define the mean, we all know that how we can define the mean. That is the e of x and variance is e x square minus e x whole square. In order to find the mean and variance, we can firstly calculate what is the e x square and what is the e x or in general we can define e of x raised to power r. So by the definition and since the domain is my 0 to 1, so we can integrate from the 0 to 1 x raised to power r of f of x. We can substitute the value of the f of x in here. We can see this is the expression. Now you can also see that this is the integration with respect to x. So this part is my constant. So I can take it outside from the integration and this part x raised to power r and x raised to power m minus 1 I can club them to be here. Now how you can integrate them either you can use the by parts integration but if you remember that whenever there is a 0 to 1 of here this form then it is always bit of beta function. What is the m here is whatever the written here this is m minus 1 it should be the m here is n minus 1 it is the n. So here if you compare them what is the value of the m this is the r plus m and n is remain the n divided by here. So how you, exp how you expand this beta function and by using this expression beta of mn is nothing but gamma function of the m, gamma function of the n divided by gamma function of m plus n. So we can expand them like here you can see in the numerator part this is a gamma function of the m, gamma function of the n divided by gamma of the m plus and so on. So you can see the gamma function of n is, is cancel out and after the simplification you will get this expression. So based on this expression that is the e of x this is, uh, is, is depending on the value of the r. Now we can write this r we can based on this we can find the e x and e x square. It is quite easy that if you compare them so if r is my 1 then it is my e x. If r is my 2 then it will be my e x 2 or e x square. So I substitute the value of the r in 1 so we will get this value. Now how you can simplify them? So all of you know that what is the what is the formula for the gamma function of the x? All of you know that gamma function of x is x minus 1 gamma function of the x minus 1. So I can expand the first part. This is the m of gamma function of n. I can since this is the bigger term so I can expand this part is here. Now since this will be cancel out so what will happen is there so it will be m upon m plus n. Similarly you can find the e of x here. So when you substitute r is 2 you will get this expression. Again by using this expression this uh, equation we can expand this part we can expand this part is there. So after again you can see the gamma function of m will be cancel out gamma function of the m plus n is cancel out the expression will be here. So once you will get the e x and e x here so therefore the mean is nothing but m upon m plus n variance is e x square minus e x whole square. So you can substitute the value of the e x square from here. So that is given to be this one. So now you can simplify them either you can square or else you can see m upon m plus n is common and after the simplification you will get this as the mean uh, this as the variance of this gamma uh, beta distribution of the first kind. So what is the conclusion of this lecture is the, bit, uh, the PDF of this uh, beta function of the first kind is my here. The mean of the distribution is m upon m plus n and the variance is my here. So that is the quite short proof of this beta distribution of the first kind. We will see in our next class how you can find the beta distribution of the second kind mean and variances. Till then you can simply follow this link for finding the more updated videos. Best of luck students. Thank you very much.